So hello, we are here in Malmö with Fallen from SK. Uh, you just played against uh, Boot, the Asian team. So how was the match? 16-2, uh, I think? I think it was 16-2. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's always a pleasure to play the teams from other regions. Uh, it's a pleasure to be seeing them trying to compete with us. And of course, it takes some time for them to get used to the play style, but I think they showed great skill. And I think we played a good match. Despite the result, I think they had good strategies. And we just didn't give them any space to create some rounds, but and they got broke two times in a row uh, on their economy. So it the score seems a little bit easier, but the match wasn't that much easier. Um, so it's boot. I think it's the first time they played on on European soil or against great uh, European on uh, NA team, uh, even if you're Brazilian. But uh, did you prepare the, for for this match? Uh, have you studied the, the game? Uh, being honest, we just take a look on which maps they, they would prefer to play, and we had some some maps that we could check. But when you play teams like this, I kind of prefer not going much in deep into the match because you don't know what they're preparing to play you. So sometimes you can watch their playing Taido, for example, or playing another Asian teams. But what they're gonna do against you on the match? Maybe it's something very specific for your team because they have a lot of time to prepare. So I uh, much rather prefer to just focus on our play style and for this match wasn't different, we just focused on playing our game. And uh, last question, uh, what do you think about uh, the whole uh, shuffle uh, of uh, every team, uh, Zeus coming into the Navi? Uh, yeah, I think every team is trying to find a fix for their problems and I think that's completely normal. Uh, we had to go under some change in the past as well and that's that's part of the scene. I think the teams are trying to stay competitive, some of them are trying to fix problems, some of them are trying to get more firepower power and become better teams, and that's great. That's more competition. That, Of course, I think this adds a lot of uh, hype to everyone in the scene to watch those teams playing. I'm one of those guys as well. I want to see FaZe competing, for example. They have a great lineup in the paper, and we still have to see how it's going to work in the server. Okay. Um, uh do you think that there need there need to to be a time a period of time to 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 do changes, uh, not to change uh, like in mid season uh, changing uh, any time they like for phase they just change uh, for Kyo they went out for Olaf but Kyo is still in the team it's it's really really hard for some players to to not have team at the moment. Uh, I think the I think the way we get evolving as a scene as a whole we're going to get more structured and more prepared for those situations. It kind of sucks for Kyushima that he got dropped the last time and he wasn't able to find another team on time. But this is just a, a, a result of the way the scene works right now. And it's a bit of a shame that it happened to him. It's very, it's very sad. But at the same time, change is necessary. And I think we're evolving to get a better schedule in terms of uh, uh, transferring window time, right? So this time I think it was a little better. I think uh, even as ESL and other organizations, they are trying to improve uh, on that aspect where they give teams kind of a range or whether they can make the change or not. And I think that's very important. Players need to know when they can change. Contracts need to know. Uh, the teams need to know when they can release their players and when they can make change. So that's that's better for everyone. Okay, thanks and good luck for the rest of the tournament.